Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. My name is Rabbit Luigi and in the last episode we went to Four Island. I forget really what we did last episode. I know we're now in Five Island, which is called Chrono Island. We found out that the Rocket Hideout is here. And I think we also found out that they are catching Pokemon and then selling them on because they're bad guys. They don't do nice things. What we're going to do this episode is try and find the second Rocket Password Hideout thing. And we're going to start by going... We've got so many islands to go to now. We're going to start by going to Six Island, which has a name. All of them have names. We just came off Chrono Island. This is going to be called something different, I imagine. Otherwise, you know, what's the point? Uh, it's called Fortune Island of Aged Wisdom. Most likely, yes. So there are many things. I didn't want to go in here. Oh, no, I really didn't want to go in here. Oh, God. Hey, Jackass, how's your... Don't stop, stop stalking me. It's really annoying. How's your Pokedex filling up? It looks like it's impossible to get all the Pokemon by hanging around just these parts. Maybe there are Pokemon we don't know about somewhere far away. Hmm. Well, if I can't, <laughs> if I can't do it, there's no way for you to get it done. I'm not gonna, I'm not going to get all desperate over this. I'll keep collecting Pokemon at my own pace while I train them. That's what I'll do. So there's no point staying here. I may as well leave for home. That's that. Then smell you later. Oh my God. Why is he always, always in the really annoying places? I thought I was fairly certain we were done. We would never have to talk to him again. What's going on? I'm going what path? Uh, you're a trainer. I didn't see that coming. I'm practicing in secret so no one could see me, ew. On the one hand, he was a juggler, so all he's doing is practicing his juggling. But on the other hand, he had... He was a juggler. He was playing with balls. He had three Voltorbs. Well, two Voltorbs, an Electrode, and a Mr. Mimes. So how about that? Why are you suggesting that you're sick of seeing swimmers like me? How did you know? Ah, oh, don't be hating. I will. Though that might just be because you're, the place where you hang out is like a wild cave. There's, there's Pokemon everywhere is what I'm trying to get at. So up here, I forget what I can do up here at the moment. We will have to find out. Everyone's a trainer here. Good lord. I let a pleasant breeze leave me all the- Why the fuck would you do that? That might make sense if you were sailing, but you're like an aroma lady random person. You like trees. You're not going to be sailing. We're going to go up the green path because I'm feeling environmentally friendly this episode. I kind of have to be because my internet is a pile of poo. It really is. It's... It, I don't know. Also, why are there level 9 Pokemon here? Yes, my internet is not happy. I also think, is this the place where it's like... Oh, I forget what this is. There's an easter egg about this and I can't remember what it is. Something like it's in the layout of the circuit board of Pokemon Red and Blue and Yellow, probably. And that game was so full of bugs and these grassy patches are also full of bugs. It's like a self-referential joke or something like that. Take a deep breath. Isn't the air delicious? It tastes like chicken. I will at least show what the rough what the rough layout of that area was so you can kind of see if it does look like a circuit board or not i think that was for the jokey easter egg kind of self-referential the original games were not as good as this kind of thing why are there level seven pokemon here i am the champion show some respect to the champion i am the god of pokemon or something like that outcast island that's where i need to be i feel like i'm an outcast i am the most strongest trainer in the world where am I going? I'm just gonna keep going up. I just keep going up. Just keep going up. I don't even know. Where are we going? I'm gonna get this. What is this? I've had a PP up. I can have more PP. I've always wanted to have more PP. You have no idea, guys. I don't want to fight this fisherman because he can have a million magic carbs. Yeah, I was surfing. So he was trying to catch me or something. But I wasn't having any of that. My, uh, my cloister is not being caught by any random fisher trainer person. Who are you? There's no rare Pokemon around these parts. Not a one. That burns me up, man. I'm going to take it. I'll take it out on you. Why are you here? Are you a little bit lost? I think you might just be in the wrong place or something. You just... Why are you here? You just... There's nothing of interest here. I think the cave here is the Altering Cave. If you remember what the Altering Cave does, good for you. Because I didn't. I had to look it up. It's a, it's a cave where things happen. You're a sludge bomb. Uh, I, I'm high defensive. High defensive, yeah. Look at those high defenses. Yeah, it's awesome. I'm, I'm using Pearl more often because I didn't actually use Cloister really at all in the main quest. I, I did, but right at the end and a little bit of the Elite Four. So... I, I feel like I should show her off a little bit more to show off my amazing defenses and this water ice type combination which is, you know, that's sometimes Im um, imbeatable. I nearly said imbeatable, guys. That's, that is, grammar is tricky. Let me, what you know about grammar? It's tricky. Yeah, whatever. Just, I, I, I feel I should use Pokemon. You might have seen, also, 
Uh, I'm just going to gloss over it. My party has changed a tiny bit. I have kept out T, because T is the strongest Pokemon I have. I kept out T for most of last, well, second half of last episode, so I could use a Lapras, which had Surf and Waterfall. I have got a Persian, one of the many I caught to just, you know, beef out my Pokedex. Uh, called Kite, because I am, I am so clever. Um, of course I'm clever. <laughs> yes, I can do that. Called Kite, and uh, it knows Cut. I didn't want to teach any of my Pokemon Cut. That's what I'm getting at, okay? I, I, it's just, I, I used to be on Diggles, and Diggles now knows Slash. And I'm not writing over it, okay? It's not happening. Never happening. I, I do miss having tea occasionally, because Steel can switch into most types and just kind of sit there, take damage, and not really give two shit. So it's, you know, it's a little sad. I will cope, though. Huh? I wow money. I, big money. Big money, no whammies. You're not even going to say anything. That's fantastic. He is so lost. Altering Cave. This is a weird area, okay? It's very strange. Okay, so as you can see, it's full of Zubat. I think that's the point. They are level 12. They are not threatening. They do not yield good experience. They are rather disappointing. I think what actually you were supposed to do is have an e-reader device for your GBA and do things like I put, put e-reader cards into the e-reader e and you could get different Pokemon. I'm not sure what Pokemon you could get if they were any better than a Zubat. I can't imagine who would really go for the Rattata e-reader, but it's the idea that you can choose what Pokemon are in this cave. I haven't got an e-reader, I have not got an e-reader or any cards, so it is in fact full of Zubat, and I do not want to fight Zubat, okay? I'm gonna go back to Six Island. It's a huge island, this, by the way. We don't want to go to the dotted hole. The dotted hole? We are going to the dotted hole, I think. I, it's probably south rather than north to the watery path. I have a bike. No, that's not a bike. The item finder is doing something. I, <laughs> I, <laughs> that was completely unexpected. Hang on a second. I feel I should check now. Is it somewhere in the corner? Somewhere over here. I got a leper berry. Got another berry, which does, I think, restore PP or something. I, we don't need it. We don't need it. We've got Pokemon centers instead. Whatever. We're going south instead to the majest, majestic whatever's down here. I'm just going to keep going down here. Just, okay, that was it. That was it. It was beautiful. That was all she wrote, indeed. Tell me, where are the mountains around these parts? I have no idea. Do I look like a tour guide to you? I mean, I have a hat, which could be considered like an official tour guidey person's hat or something, but, you know, I just got here. I literally, not literally just got here, but I haven't been spending that long here. Are you saying I look like the voice of reason or understanding I want whatever this is because it looks mildly important. I still have a Pokemon with strength. I may overwrite that if I want to do anything slightly more battle heavy in the future. I'm not sure what I want to give uh, what's his face. Uh, <laughs> what I want to give Gusta in ret uh, in whatever. I just I don't know what I want to give it in return. If I get rid of strength, what would I do instead? I'm not sure. I, I know I've still got Earthquake. I could give it Earthquake but there aren't too many types where that would be useful. Maybe Fire but there aren't many fire types which aren't Charizard around here. And so Earthquake would be mildly useless. I could maybe steal types? I don't really... I just... Internal dilemmas. Internal dilemmas and magical things. I have so many TMs and I could be using them, but I don't have to use them. You're just... You can stay there. I don't really want to fight you or really want to get involved with anything of what that guy was doing. While Pokemon are getting stronger now, that, that's that's how you know we have, we have come so far. And we have a maze of hiker trainers. There appear to be many secrets still unsolved in this world, then go solve them. Rather than coming over here with your three gravelers and a two gravelers and an onyx, you could be do something a little bit more interesting. Just a thought. You know, just a tiny thought. This door doesn't budge at all. Check it more thoroughly. On closer inspection, there are several dots on the door. Whom are there? <laughs> I, I know what this is, because I read Braille now, did I say I read Braille, or rather, I read the Braille which was on the walkthrough, which I read, there you go, <laughs> I'm a genius, <laughs> or something like that, welcome to the dotted hole, where there are dots in the ground, that is too meta for my brain to comprehend, how did they do such a thing, what is this, uh, up, there's two, I'm guessing this is up, you can work it out by the by the number of characters, if anything. When it says four, oh, that could be fun. Uh, I don't know where I gotta go. Down, maybe? Feeling lucky. I'm feeling lucky. I wasn't lucky enough. Which would lead me to believe it's probably this one. Thi this one. <laughs> I was slightly blocked by a tiny, tiny little pile of rubble. Uh, this is right. I can do right. I am good at right. 
these aren't compass point directions, I can imagine that'd be even more annoying, and that's going to be something different, which is most likely going to be down. And here we are! We have found a Sapphire! We can play Pokemon Sapphire! What, who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? How do you, what is, what is that onomatopoeia? Foo 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 I guessed right. I was right in tailing you. I knew that there was a Sapphire here, so it belongs to me. I'll sell it to Team Rocket for serious money. Serious money. <laughs> so don't glare at me like that. If you want it back, why don't you go after it after I, go, go get it after I sell it. I'll even tell you one of the t passwords to Team Rocket's warehouse. The warehouse password I know is yes, nah, Chansey. Somebody pointed out, I think I already knew this, but it may have slipped my mind. It's kind of like a palindrome. It's, it's, it's a palindromic sentence. I didn't know that with Goldie Need Log, honestly. I'm done. Don't think badly of me. Goodbye! <laughs> Fucking asshole stole my sapphire. I'm gonna go after his sapphire, but I have now got the second password for the rocket warehouse. We can kill two birds with one stone, and we're gonna go get that stone right now. Presto Warpo, we are here. We're gonna punch in some passwords and do things. Gold need... N go Goldie need log. Yes, nah. Chansey. Yes, nah. Chansey. The warehouse door's open. We are going in. We are gonna break some faces in the rocket warehouse. I think we've already been to one of these. And as you can tell, it's the same kind of thing. We're doing this shit again. Halle fucking Luya. We don't want to go the places where you want to go first. You've got to think about it a bit more. You want to go like down here, which sends me over here, which gives me random Pokeball, which is Big Pearl. I can sell that. Big Pearl. It's like a big cloister or something like that. I want to go here again, maybe. I don't, I don't even pretend that I know. I'm just guessing. That's part of the fun, you know. Uh, maybe I want to go here. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, this looks about right. This looks pretty good. Maybe. Is this going to take me to the right place? Going up here. But I'm guessing that's a yes. I found an upgrade. I can upgrade my uh, my Porygon. I forgot the name of it. Oh, now your Pokemon looks strong. You're willing to sell them? No. Oh, you wanted to battle? Like I would sell them. I feel I should point out that these Pokemon won me the Elite Four Challenge. So why don't you go find other Pokemon to buy or something? I'm going to get this Pokeball while I'm down here again. Before I forget about it again, is it something good? It's another pearl. It's a smaller pearl. It's a more, m less in less significant pearl or something. Which way did I go f first? I'll go this way now, maybe. This is trial and error at its absolute finest. Where am I? Up here? Hello? Can I fight you? Did you come in? Did you come here knowing it's Team Rocket's warehouse? Yes, I did. Though surely the first question they should be asking is, one, how did you get in? And if they're going to assume that I didn't do it by going to various islands and fighting random... I didn't actually fight the scientist person, but if I just, like, if I wasn't staff, then they'd be wondering how I managed to get the password. So I must be staff, is what I'm trying to get at. I must be the janitor, or the cleaner, or the, the, I don't know, the financial person who does financial shit. What's over here? It is, the, hello? No, it's here. It is a TM36. It contains Sludge Bomb. That is rather important. I would like to teach that to a Pokemon. I, I, you can imagine which one I want to do it to, okay? I got word about you from the others, but there's no way a kid like you would know, you, like you'd know our boss, Giovanni, Giovanni. What do you know about Giovanni? He's a nice guy. He was the gym leader of the last gym. How about that? I don't care. I don't know or care if what I'm doing is right or wrong. I just put my faith in Giovanni and do as I'm told. He's not there anymore. It's like Team Rocket in Johto, where they believe they're still part of the movement, but Team Rocket's moved on. You're doing things according to your beliefs and morals. I understand now. I'm doing the right thing. I've made it so you can come back in through here. Why don't you go re get rested and refresh for what lies ahead? The admin after me outranks me thoroughly, thoroughly, ah, thoroughly as a trainer. You'd better steal yourself for one harsh challenge. Uh, yeah, so she's just reversed these. I'm going to very quickly go heal, and then we're going to go take on the admin. So did you get your orders from the admin? Or did the admin get their orders from- I don't even know what's going on, I can print- I, I can't do it. It's it's too difficult. That's quite enough of you playing the hero, kid, spreading lies about how Team Rocket has disbanded. It's such an obvious attempt to cause confusion in our ranks. Fortunately, we're not so ignorant to fall for the lies of a child. And now I'll show you how scary an angry adult can be. Please don't hurt me, random Rocket Team Rocket member. Are you actually an admin? Or are you some- you're just- oh, you are an admin. Your name is admin. That's a little bit weird. So, <laughs> Team Rocket admin. That's not your name. Your name is something different. It's like Tony or something. The Team Rocket Admin Tony 
is the canon name or something. It is now. Probably isn't. But I'm making it right here, right now. That did quite a lot of damage. That's quite good. Everyone here is Sludge Bomb. I presume that's because there was the TM in one of those rooms. It doesn't do a lot of damage because I am defensively minded. I am good at defensive attacks. I can sponge them like crazy amounts. You can throw your sludgy bombs and they won't do a damn thing. So are you... The, this guy is like the leader of what's left of Team Rocket. Okay, so if, if that carries on to Heart Gold and Soul Silver, if we're doing the same, if these are timelines is what I'm getting at, does that mean that Team Rocket are even less functional by the time those games come around? I don't, I don't know. It's kind of, kind of crazy, kind of crazy when you think about it. Like they're still in Heart Gold and Soul Silver trying to resurrect Team Rocket with Radio Tower shenanigans, and it just doesn't work. I would like to be able to use a move. Sivu play. Is that so difficult? It might just be. There we go. Fantastic. How am I faster than you? That is a good question. Wow. I'm not a fast Pokemon. How did that... How does that work? <laughs> I have no idea. Apparently Pearl is the fastest Pokemon in all of Mexico. We're going to go with Hypno. Because... Or my Freud. Because I don't want to stay into a Weezing. They are powerful Pokemon. I just want to get this battle done. And end the episode off with the destruction. The devolution. Is that the right word? of Team Rocket, the the deconstruction of the basis of Team Rocket, Weezing survives that. Rather annoying. You have Shadow Ball. I admire that. It's not going to do that much. It'll do a fair amount, but not that much. Shadow Ball on a Weezing. I didn't even know Weezing could learn Shadow Ball. Can it actually? Or are we hacking Pokemon again? Maybe. One of, the, one of those is probably correct. Whatever. Get it out the way. What's your last Pokemon? It's a Houndoom. Welcome to Johto, in case you didn't know we were already in Johto. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, I'm, <laughs> Diggles is very strong. Diggles has XP share, has just been kind of soaking up any stray bits of experience. And Houndoom's face looks a bit weird. I'm faster than you, so you're not gonna win this fight. But Houndoom's face looks a bit funky. <laughs> well, they still unsure how to draw Houndoom properly. Houndoom looked good in Gen 2. It's had a, a nice stance to it. That just looks weird, okay? So change it. Oh, you're, you are too strong. But that's Giovanni's badge. So it's true. Team Rocket really has disbanded. I get money. Big fan of the money. Very big fan of the money. We will abandon this warehouse. But don't think this is over. Oh, over. Over. I can't speak. I won't let this be the end. I will find Giovanni. And I will resurrect Team Rocket. I will. Until then, farewell. Well, that was Team Rocket. Anything back here? You're the scientist asshole. Hello? I almost managed to sell the sapphire for huge money. Then you just had to come along and blow the whole deal apart. Foo 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 foo! Stop saying that! That automatic There's no forgiveness for you. Okay. Whoa! His team just got interesting. Wow! I was gonna skip this fight because the only thing he had was a whole load of Voltorbs, Electrodes, Magnemites, Magnetons. I was flying through it with Diggles, but along comes a Porygon, which makes it more interesting. Makes it way more interesting. Mildly, I don't know. Porygon's a, a funky ass Pokemon. I have leftovers. You can't do that. Don't even try. Don't even try and fight me. Porygon's not that interesting, actually, I might skip the end of this. Yeah, it wasn't that interesting. If I can't sell it, it's worthless. Go ahead, take it. I got the Sapphire! Yeah, I'm amazing. I'm gonna meet you back by Celio. Hey, man, I've got you another gemstone. You're gonna... Your necklace is gonna look fantastic. I hope you wear it with pride. So this is the gem that forms a pair with the ruby. Jackass, you've gone through a lot to get this, haven't you? Didn't you? I... Whatever. You, you don't have to tell me. I know it wasn't easy. Thank you so much. Now it's my turn to work for you. Please, give it a... Give me a little time. Little time? That was not a lot of time, that's even shorter. Okay, this is good. Wow, he works quickly, doesn't he? I can't even move. I did it! I linked up with, with Lynette! Jackass, Jackass, I did it! I've managed to link up with trainers in the Hoenn region! Finally, the network machine is fully operational! Jackass, I owe it all to you! Thanks to you, my dream came true! So now we can trade between uh, game between Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire and, you know, this game. We're not going to do that, because there's very little to be gained by doing that. But this being Rabbit Luigi, this has been Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. And in the next episode, we could do many things. I may explore the rest of the Sevi Islands for you, or we could go after some legendary Pokemon. I think that is up to you. What would you like me to do next? Explore the rest of the Sevi Islands and leave them alone afterwards, or go after some legendary Pokemon I have... Some in mind, if you'd like me to do that next. I can you can imagine what they are. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.